some Morse code? <laughs> That's a good one. Thank you. Uh, what we have here is the stock foot pedal for the AHP Alpha TIG 200X. And I got a little present in the mail the other day, and I thought, let me show you guys what happened. This is the stock pedal, and I'm sure all you guys who have one, you know, either this with the Alpha or you know, whatever Chinese machine you may have, but if you have one of these pedals, you know a couple of the little idiosyncrasies of this thing. This is a later model. It's a 2015 pedal, so there isn't a rheostat for adjusting the amperage like on the earlier models. That's a good thing. But what drives me crazy with this is when I go to put my big flat foot on it and push down on that thing and let back up again, the pedal wants to scoot out from under my foot. And boy, after a while, that gets annoying as all heck. Trying to reach underneath the bench and trying to keep pulling that thing back, trying to get it in the right spot. Well, one of the guys on uh, Weld.com, he posted up a little picture, and he said, hey, try this. And what he did was he took a piece of three-quarter inch plywood, and he made just a big foot to go underneath it bolted it in on the three holes with enough of it hanging out back here where he could put a little lip on it so it was something your heel could hook against and you could still push on that pedal but the pedal wouldn't take off and you know, run up, run, run away underneath the bench. Of course another option is just replace the pedal. <laughs> so the, uh, the welding store at weld.com they have SSC foot pedals to fit this machine. So this is an SSC pedal. It's an aftermarket pedal. Uh, it's, I believe it is made right here in Ohio. Not here in Ohio, but over there in Ohio. <laughs> and so it's all American made. And it's a really comfortable pedal to use. It's nowhere near... It's nowhere near the spring tension the stock pedal is much, much lighter, much easier on your ankle, on your foot. But the cool thing is, it goes the right way. And you put your foot on it, just like a gas pedal in a car, rather than trying to put your foot on this and push it down that way, backwards of what you know, natural movement would be. So I thought, cool. Not only has it got sticky on the bottom, not only does it have non-skid on the top, so your foot will stick to it, so it won't wander around on the floor. It's got a bigger surface area. It's easier on the ankle. <laughs> Let's fire it up and see what we can do with it. That's what I'm looking for. Now, one thing to note, when you call, you know, if you call a, a SSC and order it from them, or you come out to the store, yes, please, at weld.com and get it through there, make sure you tell them it's for the AHP Alpha TIG 2015 because the schematics are a little different. You can't put like an Everlast pedal on this, even though it's from the same manufacturer, even though it'll plug in, the wires are backwards in it and the pedal won't work right. You gotta specify this machine when you order. Make sure you get the right one. So I thought, let's go ahead and fire up the Alpha TIG and let's do some low arc initiation, both with the stock pedal and the aftermarket pedal, the SSC pedal, and let's see how low we can actually get at the light and arc and see if there's any difference between the two pedals. I've never done it, so it'll be news to me too. Okay, so the Alpha Tig, uh, HP Alpha Tig 200X got a uh, 332nd E3 tungsten, straight argon, I got the amperage set on the on the display panel. I got the main amps set at 50 amps. So that should be all I get from the pedal if I go full full pedal down here. It should only be 50 amps. But let's just try just barely touching that pedal and see what we get. See if we can light it off. See how low it'll light off over there. And just push the pedal. And back to zero. 
Say, I was watching what I was doing. What did you guys see over there? Well, it bounced around a little bit, but it stayed pretty low. What was it? What did it start at? Zero. Zero? <laughs> cool. Okay, let me switch to the other pedal. We'll see what we get with that one. So same thing, same average, you know, same machine, same tungsten, didn't sharpen it or anything. Uh, just switch to the SSC pedal, and let's try minimum amps. Let's see what we can get, see if it's any difference. It's going to be hard to beat zero. <laughs> and let's get it up for Uh, zero. Really, I think you can see they're pretty comparable electronically as far as the machine is concerned. You know, zero amps, zero amps. <laughs> That's a pretty low, t pretty tiny little arc to start down there. The big difference is ergonomics. You know, how does your foot feel? How does your ankle feel? You're sitting there all day long working this. You don't want to be working a, you know, a truck clutch, you know, an old Massey Ferguson clutch. You want something smooth, something easy that you can work all day without stressing out your ankle. That's something you don't have to chase underneath the bench. So, a nice little addition. And yes, I did buy it. It wasn't given to me. But nice little addition. It'll be fun playing with it. So, I'm going to get back to work here. You guys are going to come out to Facebook and friend me out there. Kevin Carone, artist. Follow me around out there for a while. I'll see you next time. Hook up the ground. 